Hey everyone, Matthew Robinson. If you're watching this, it's because you just got finished watching part four of The Adventures of Matthew Robinson. At least, that's probably how you came across this video. Maybe you didn't, but it's probably how you came across this. If you haven't, you should see The Adventures of Matthew Robinson part four so you understand what I'm talking about when I make this video commentary. Now, what you just saw was um, the what we call the gang meeting and the corn syrup. Now, a lot of great stuff happens in this scene that I really like. Now, the first scene you see were me, Gabe, a young girl named Rachel Stewart, or I should say a young woman, and Andrew Mark, and Chris Lippert are all in this scene. Now, Andrew Mark gets a much larger, well, I won't spoil anything, but I, what I will say about this is that it's very, um, the scene has some audio problems because we're filming inside a busy, a very loud cafeteria during the study hall. But I still think it's a funny scene and it talks, it has a little cute line there about Facebook and everything. So that's a great scene. Um, the next scene is the corn syrup scene. Now, this is iconic. In fact, when I made the sequel, The Adventures of Map and Robinson 2, people told me that they would not watch it unless Jesse Holdis, the man with the corn syrup, returned. And uh, so I, I, I had to make sure he came back in the second one. But obviously, the corn syrup scene is something that a lot of people like. Um, in particular, my mother really loves the corn syrup scene, and actually the corn syrup scene, that actually got cut in half. The original scene is a little bit longer, and though a lot of people like the longer scene, it kind of took away from the flow of the movie, so I cut it out and, and um, made it a little shorter. Hopefully one day I'll be able to put the full, unedited, director's cut version of that scene. It's really funny, I think you guys will like it. Um, moving on, then we have also probably an, another very iconic scene in this movie. Uh, is when I'm trying to rally troops to save Clayton and then we meet Jacob Brumbaugh who comes in and kind of usurps my power. Now this is kind of like a breaking of the fourth wall in such and how I lose my part to be main character. And it's very important to remember this, that because Jacob Brumbaugh has taken over as main character in the movie, I'm no longer main character of the movie, the events of Matthew Robinson. And we'll explore that later. But this is a great scene. Um, we wanted Jeff King to be in this scene, but he wasn't able to be in it, so we make a little joke about him. Um, another person that we well, wanted in the scene, well, we wanted several people in the scene that we weren't able to get, but it still worked out pretty well. We um, got Michael Cole in this scene. We got the talented Kyle Jones. Dallas Friedman is in this scene. Uh, we weren't able to get Patrick Turner in this scene, even though we wanted him in this scene. Um, we got Taylor Rousseau in this scene. I think this is actually the first scene she appears in. And uh, she's in a good deal of the movie after this. Um, we also have um, Jordan McHugh in this scene. He, uh, he was really funny. He did a good job. I liked what he did. So I, I think it was a great scene. We actually ended up cutting also some stars. I, this is weird because this whole like kind of section actually had a lot of stuff cut out. Um, we actually cut out some parts from this um, scene, edited for content. Um, there was a point for the original before I um, premiered this. There was a scene where Gabe called me a douchebag. And, uh, well, my mother told me to uh, get rid of that. And um, so I agreed. Reluctantly, I got rid of the douchebag line. And it's fine. It's fine without it. It's a funny scene anyway. But it's a scene I really like. Now, the next scene that you guys will see is also another scene. Kind of, you'll see it next time, and uh, I just want to give you guys a little heads up. It's a little bit based off of the, the famous, you know how I know you're gay scene from um, the 40-year-old virgin. But this was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun filming these scenes. We filmed this right outside of our high school in this weird kind of like makeshift amphitheater. So uh, it, it, we did it all pretty much in one take. It didn't take a lot of practice to do it. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, keep spreading the word about these videos. Um, part 5 will be up soon along with my video commentary on Part 5. So uh, until then, uh, enjoy the movie.